friends welcome to linux fork my name is chandan and today we are going to learn how we can troubleshoot a azure vm either it is linux or windows uh, for the connection okay connection issue or something you are not able to connect that vm so today we will learn these things how we can troubleshoot it okay and uh, <coughs> if you are new uh, visitor on my channel if you are watching this video please subscribe my channel i am requesting you okay so let's see how we can troubleshoot this uh, issue or uh, let let uh, let's uh, understand of behind the scene what happening okay so we will see today redeploy and reapply option okay so how we can troubleshoot how it's uh, helping us uh, for the connection issue okay so let's uh, go to the particular vm and before uh, uh, doing this operation or anything remember if you put a data in d drive or d drive or, or if we can say temporary drive it's going to uh, lose okay so you are going to lose your data before applying that please ensure that you didn't put any data in d drive otherwise you will lose that data it's a complete uh, instruction okay so how we can redeploy a vm if you are facing a issue with the connection uh, so let's uh, go to the troubleshoot uh, section okay so let's say support and troubleshoot section be we have reached there is one option called reapply and re uh, redeploy and plus reapply okay so what does uh, this uh, redeploy okay so basically redeploy does uh, 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 actually when you apply redeploy it's uh, going to restart your vm okay and restart and re going to relaunch your vm in some other node be within the azure infrastructure okay means this is the virtualization concept is behind the scene but it's uh, going to redeploy your vm in some other host okay with the and uh, remember the configuration and other data is persistent there is not uh, they are not going to uh, lose or they are not going to destroy the data but only if you put it the data in temporary drive that data is going to destroy okay once uh, they are going to redeploy so uh, they have uh, written a state forward here okay so if you continue the virtual machine will be restarted and you will lose any data on temporary drive so please don't put data in temporary drive okay and for uh, reapply operation if some operation failed okay suppose you you were uh, stopping the vm and that vm is not uh, stopped okay or any operation like here vm provisioning failed while executing a previous vm action any action you are applying and that action got failed in that condition you can reapply that okay so suppose uh, sometimes we are uh, uh, stopping the vm and a uh, stop got failed in that condition we can reapply that operation so that is the things uh, with uh, uh, redeploy and reapply feature okay this 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 two option is helping us for the troubleshooting of the connection issue any like you are not able to do rdp you are not able to sss a so this when we choose this option when like sub some because currently you are not able to access that vm that means you you can't do anything there okay it's very important to you have to access your server okay so suppose you have tried your best to find out what is the issue so sometime nsg issue is there you did not whitelisted you didn't uh, uh, if any issue on azure okay like uh, you have a task load balancer you didn't uh, apply the net role for ssh or rdp and you're trying to connect in that condition it's going to fail right so this once you once you tried your waste and you found that there is no issue with the configuration and other settings okay then you can apply this option okay so once you apply it you can uh, it will going to 
redeploy your vm and uh, hopefully your uh, connection will be uh, if any other issue is not there you will be able to connect the vm so that is the things uh, for the redeploy and reapply option okay you can apply no issue so not going to do too many things so if you but i am sure okay and you also sure that you can't put data in temporary drive okay so that is the things i just uh, want to say and uh, just okay so that's all in this video that uh, information or in video does in video i just want to uh, show this option and uh, i just i want to give you details about this option okay and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe this channel okay and uh, i will create a similar video in future also so please subscribe and uh, let us know uh, if you want a complete course or nature like 900 uh, one note four uh, please uh, comment on this video uh, i will definitely create a complete uh, tutorials on azure cloud okay thank you for watching